Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. Once you have a calendar in your team site, you probably find it rather tedious to add new items to it. The UI here is somewhat lacking. It works, it does what it's supposed to, but you have a much better way of working with calendars, don't you? Yes, you do. You have Microsoft Outlook and you can modify the events in your calendar using Outlook by simply clicking connect to Outlook. What happens then is that you get this question in Outlook, connect this calendar to Outlook, and here under my calendars you'll see the HR events, which is connected to the HR site, the double here, but this is my personal calendar, there's nothing in it so far, and this is the HR calendar. Now, if you don't want to see them side by side, you can simply remove your own calendar and start working with the HR calendar. So let's say the salaries are supposed to be out here. So then you can simply type in there like that. And then the taxes are next week. Taxes. Like that. Fill it out. And of course, you can also hold down the control key and drag it around. Like that. Well, okay, we'll have two weeks salary. It's fine. We can also do control C for copy. Go to another month and then just select a date like that and control V so you can quickly fill this with information. Another thing that you can do is that you can categorize this with colors. So if you have the taxes, they're supposed to be red maybe. You want that to be very visible in Outlook. You see, and you want the salaries to be in green or something. categorize that as a salary again there we go this information all the information that i've been putting into outlook now is automatically in the background synchronized so if i refresh here you'll notice that all the information is indeed there however sharepoint does not yet have the ability to show the colors regretfully but you can certainly use outlook for that and the combination that's where the key is the outlook calendars are rather good they're easy to view but in combination with Outlook 2013 or 16 or even an earlier version is really, really powerful. You can also, if you have stuff in your personal calendar that you want to drag and drop in or the other way around. So that national holiday on July 8th there, I want that to be in my personal calendar too. So you can just drag and drop that over between those two. And of course, Outlook has a lot of functionality when it comes to viewing calendars side by side or even on top of each other like this. So that's really powerful. That concludes my demo on how to view your SharePoint calendar in Microsoft Outlook. Thank you for watching.